of fitness. We'll step right this way. Look, man, can we just cut to the chase? I wanna start seeing improvements as quickly as possible, and my whole motivation behind getting back into shape is so that I could have a flatter, more toned stomach. So what's the best ways to burn belly fat? All right, so this is a question I usually get from people who are like on the fence about making a change when it comes to fitness or getting back into shape, and they've you know somehow convinced themselves that they're a lost cause when it comes to burning fat around their midsection. They look at me and they say, oh, this guy must have the secret to burning this indestructible fat. And you know, it kind of sucks to be the one to burst that bubble and let them know that you can't target fat loss. When you're exercising, you're burning calories, you can't dictate where the fat is gonna come from on your body. All right, well, if that's the case, then why is it when I do a Google search for something like burn stomach fat fast, I'll get like a million search results for stuff like, I don't know, the 10 best ab exercises for sculpting the perfect stomach, or you know, 15 foods that burn belly fat. All right, that's a fair question. Um, you know, so the people that are writing these articles, they aren't necessarily lying, but you know, the things that they're saying can be a little bit misleading, like with the ab exercise suggestions, right? Those exercises will build up your abdominal muscles. But just because your stomach feels like it's on fire after one of these ab routines, it doesn't mean that fat from that area of the body is what's being burned. And you know, that's what everybody tends to think. They think I'm gonna get this magical set of ab exercises, it's gonna burn belly fat like crazy, and it's gonna leave me with this magnificent six pack. But that's just not how the body works. You see, the body's preferred source of energy is glycogen, which is just a fancy word for stored carbohydrates. These stored carbs are located in your muscle. And when you start to work a muscle, the glycogen is where your body turns to first for the energy needed, which is why you feel the burning sensation there. All right, so these food articles you read are even more misleading because Technically, you can create a caloric deficit while eating just about any food, right? But they tend to you know, suggest ones that are low calorie and high in micronutrients so that you tend to eat less calories throughout the day overall. Okay, so let's take a step back. The secret, if there is one, is to maintain a caloric deficit so that your body can burn fat from wherever it's gonna burn fat from. Eventually, it'll burn the fat from your midsection. You can create a caloric deficit by exercising more and or by lowering your food intake. All right, so there are people out there that will dedicate one of their you know, whole workouts throughout the week to just abs, right? They'll spend 45 minutes doing various types of crunches, and you know, afterwards they might feel exhausted, but I can almost guarantee that they would have burned more calories if they would have used that time you know, to run in the park or on a treadmill, exercise, bike, elliptical machine. But unfortunately, they've convinced themselves that this is the fastest way to their goal. But hopefully after this long explanation, you won't fall into that trap. You see these products that you're supposed to wrap around your waist to help you burn belly fat faster, you'll save your money. If you see a list of ab exercises, you'll know that, hey, look, this is gonna build the muscle, but not necessarily burn the fat there. Uh, you see a list of foods that say, hey, these target belly fat, you know they're just as likely to burn fat from other areas of the body as well. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Um, but even if it wasn't helpful for you, it's definitely gonna be helpful for me because I know I'm gonna get asked this, you know, this question again in the future and I'll be able to direct the person to this video instead of going through all this again. Um, if this is something you get asked a lot, feel free to share the video and you know, save yourself some time. I'm Scully, YouTube fitness community's best kept secret. Bitch, you wasn't with me lifting in the gym.